Hey, what's up and welcome to the After Party. My name is Steve Otari. Each week we're going to be skewering pop culture, YouTube, and whatever we find on the internet. Uh, I have the help of our pop culture pundits. They are experts in the field of knowing nothing. Hi, I'm Andrew Shaughnessy. Uh, hey guys, I'm Mike Germonti. Hi, I'm Kayla. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kyle Duggan. This is Michael Mack and Preble. And After Washington. After Party. Woo! We're going to kick it off right now of our top 10 videos of the week with number 10. Here is Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie bit me. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. Alright, there is no reason for Charlie to be bitching. Uh, three reasons. One, he has a lot of dedicated viewers, even potheads. Second, um, he has an adorable baby brother that loves biting on his fingers. And third, he's got a British accent. Nothing more to say. It's, am I horrible thing that it's not really that funny? He bites a kid, man. That's it. Just bites him, I could do that. I don't know, I can do that in a British accent. Is that what people want? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And Charlie has an abnormally large head. And I know coming from me, that sounds kind of weird, because I have an abnormally large head, but Charlie looks like he's gonna grow up to be like the elephant man. And I love how he goes in for another chomp at the end. He's a true champion. Like, he just doesn't care after like three seconds. Because if that was me, I would be furious for more than three seconds if my brother baby on the Then again, my brother's also six feet. He's about 200 pounds, and his teeth are fully developed. I would bite Charlie's brother just to hear him scream. That sounded weird. So now we're moving on to number nine. Here is an old lady meeting technology, what we come refer to now as the moving stairs or the escalator. Check it out. The thing about the escalator is that you don't have to move. It does that for you. So this lady should just stand perfectly still. It would be funnier if she took someone out with her, I think. That's just me. Ladies, what's up? What's up? Oh, there's a human falling. Did you see that hurt? I hope it did. Cool. All right, our number eight clip shows us that if CNN equals politics, Glenn Beck equals awkward. Take a look. would get a picture of you and then it would be posted all around and you'll, you it'll happen in your office yeah <laughs> possibly <laughs> you don't think so well it depends you know, Do you know I've got some time and a camera why don't you stop by no okay <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is I'm a film major I have access to camera and lighting oh and that guy was kind of creepy too it was kind of uncalled for what he did but at the same time, put in his position, why not go for it? You know, just just try and see. I would only ask the same question that Glenn Beck did. 
if she had over a double D. She should be on to catch Predator, actually. Probably. I, Glenn Beck's just creepy in general, so I don't find anything particularly interesting. I mean, he's asked me the same question several times. In our number seven clip, we're taking a look at Jimmy Kimmel's new Grey's Anatomy promo featuring Michael Phelps. There's an anatomy joke somewhere in here. Take a look. The drama returns. Help, I have done. A rekindled romance. A shocking announcement. I'm carrying your child, Derek. And the new doctor at Seattle Grace. Do I attract you? Do I repulse you with my queasy smile? Am I too dirty? Am I too flirty? Do I like what you like? Yeah, I could be wholesome, I could be loathsome, guess I'm a little bit shy. Why don't you like me? Why don't you like me without making me try? I try to be like you sleep with Addison? Yep. Introducing Dr. McSwimmy. What seems to be the problem? Nothing now. A season premiere that leaves nothing to the imagination. Grey's Anatomy splashes down only on ABC. I want to see Michael Phelps' anatomy. <laughs> I hope it's not gray, because discoloration is bad, and guys, if you have it, check it out. Get a doctor to look at it. It's no reason to be ashamed. The whole idea of, you know, magical genitalia that heals people is quite clearly stolen from me. Here's the thing about Grey's Anatomy. I hate Grey's Anatomy, because I think it's such a dumb show. And they have like, oh, Dr. McDreamy, oh, I should sleep with him, but first I gotta do this bypass. Concentrate on the surgery first. Michael Phelps has a really big I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I did. Big one. Additionally, I would hook up with Michael Phelps if he kept the goggles and the swimming cap and all 10 medals on him. I would, that's the only time I would do that. Otherwise, he kind of, I can't even tell you what he looks like. It's like a combination of an Ewok and that giant from Big Fish. It's horrifying. And I think he speaks in Mermish, like from Harry Potter. Like that's my secret theory, that like if he comes out of the water, he has like the ah kind of noise. Like I've always said that. That's, that's Michael Phelps. If Michael Phelps was my doctor, I would let him swim into my pants any day. Yeah, I just like the gold medals because it makes like a nice sheen off his belly, which I find attractive sexually. Homoeroticism is sometimes funny. <laughs> <laughs> 